Hey ladies, I'm back and I just wanted to do this updated video and actually say happy Mother's Day to all the beautiful mothers out there, all the super moms holding it down as single moms and all those moms who are holding it down for their family, their husbands and so forth and so on. I want to say happy Mother's Day to you. My Mother's Day has been very good thus far. I am very excited and happy today because I threw a hint out there to hubby and he actually took heed. And got me what something that I had been hitting at for a while. So what I did get for Mother's Day, I'm going to show you guys. I got a Michael Kors bag. Yay, me! And what's so exciting about it is because I don't own... I do not own not a single designer bag. Well, let me just rephrase that. Not a single designer bag, but not one that is basically expensive like I have a, a guest bag that I think I paid like $80 for I have um, a couple of other bags but I mean I wear quality bags but I myself don't spend a lot of money on bags and so what happened was one of my girlfriends had this exact same bag and we were all at a gathering together and I just was admiring her bag and I kept saying I wish I could have a bag like that I really like that bag I would love to have that bag and I would say hint hint and my husband was like, yeah, right, whatever. You got a lot of bags. You got millions of bags and this and that. You don't need no new bags. And I'm like, it's not about me needing a new bag. It's the fact that I just want that bag. I like that bag. So he actually got it for me. And he surprised me with it because I really thought I wasn't really getting anything. Like, I thought maybe we were just going out to eat because that's his normal thing. Go out to eat. Go to a movie. He's real simple about it. Unless I really put it out there that I want something. He does basically the same thing all the time. So, you know, he's been like this forever and it's just something that I'm accustomed to. So I really don't expect much when holidays and things come around. I just expect the same thing all the time. So, but not only did he get me the bag, but he got me the wallet to go with it too. I was so excited that I was jumping up and down and screaming. And this particular wallet is a phone case too. So it's not just a wallet. So your phone can go inside of it in addition to all of your other valuables, your cards and your money and things like that. So you can actually use it as a wristlet. So it can be a wristlet too. So whenever I don't want to carry the actual bag, I could just carry the wristlet. So I am super duper excited, guys. You probably like, why is she so excited? But like I said, this is the first awesome designer bag that I have so yeah my goal is to actually end up with the Gucci or Louis Vuitton somewhere down 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 the line but anyway yeah so that was my Mother's Day gift and I'm excited about that but I also wanted to update you guys and let you know that I did change my name if you haven't noticed I've changed my name on YouTube and Instagram my name is now Mrs. Personal Motivator and I've been beating myself up about changing my name for a couple of days now because initially, Naturally Me 2012, I came up with that name when I decided to go on my hair journey to grow my hair out. And so that's what I came up with, Naturally Me 2012. So this is something that I want to stick with because that's originally why I created my YouTube channel to document my journey. But since I started doing the squats and all of the feedback that I have gotten from doing the squats and how everyone has been so motivated and, you know, say that, you know, I inspire them and I motivate them and everything like that, I'm like, okay, maybe I should change my name to something to the effect of me being a motivator. So I said, hmm, what can I name myself? And then on top of that... My brother-in-law opened up a fitness center, and the name of the fitness center is Fitness Motivators. And you guys have seen that I did a video where I went down there and I actually worked out with him. Well, since doing that and going back and forth between going there and working out with him, he asked me to become a motivator because they're not trainers there. They're motivators. So now I'm like, okay, so if I'm going to be a motivator then maybe my name should be Mrs. Personal Motivator. So yes, I am taking on the title of Motivator at Fitness Motivator, so I will be studying to take the 
group fitness trainer certification. Yay, me. So I will be a professional certified trainer come July because that's when the next exam is. I went online. I looked it up. There's There are no exams that are going to be proctored anytime before that date. So that gives me a good amount of time to study because there's a lot of studying of the anatomy and the bones and the muscles and things like that and exercises and all sorts of things that come with the certification. So I want to be fully prepared. So May and June is more than enough time for me to be prepared for that exam. So I'm excited about that too. So I'll keep you guys posted as I progress through my studies. And I know my family and friends are going to be like, oh boy, she's doing something else. But that's just me. I'm, I'm always doing something new. This time last year, I was studying for the real estate exam. So I am a licensed real estate agent. Have I done anything with it? No. Because around the same time that I became certified or licensed as a real estate agent, I passed the teaching exam and I was offered a position to teach. So I took that. So once I started teaching, the real estate went out the window. But that's something I have under my belt. So yes, I'm always doing something um, that has to do with me. You know, adding something else to myself. Like, you always want to reinvent yourself. You always want to have more than one uh, trade or something like that because you always want to be able to bring in an additional income. So that that's me. Everybody knows that's me. They call me Ralph Cramden, Mrs. Ralph Cramden, because I'm always doing something to make more money. So now I'm going to do the group fitness trainer certification. So I'll keep you guys posted on that. And all you mothers out there, I hope you're enjoying your Mother's Day. I just wanted to say Happy Mother's Day. And update you guys on what's new with me. So if you're following me on Instagram, my name is not Be So Naturally Me anymore. And I know that's on the end of all my videos. So I'm going to have to add an annotation that states what my new name is on Instagram. But if you're not following me on, following me on Instagram, please follow me, Mrs. Personal Motivator on Instagram. Because some things I post on there, I haven't done a video for. But I'll post something you know, an exercise or a recipe or something. I'll post something on there that I haven't done on YouTube. So it's best that you follow me on Instagram to to keep up with what's current, what's going on with me currently. So um, I'll see you guys on the next video. Good night.